Mitochondria are these little organelles, little cells inside all of your cells, making up probably 15 to 20 percent of your body weight if we took them all out. There are millions of them in your body. They generate your energy. They create these little mitochondria, create something called A. ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is literally the energy currency your body uses to be alive. It's that important. Well, there's a tremendous interest in, in mitochondrial research, and they're calling it all sorts of different things. They're calling it mitochondrial resuscitation, meaning how do you revive the mitochondria you have? They're calling it mitochondrial biogenesis. How do you create new mitochondria? Now listen, up until five years ago, we had not a clue in the world of chemistry that you can create new mitochondria. We sort of thought that the mitochondria you were born with, that's it. That was your share and that's all you got. But we realize now with the right combination of nutrients, you can generate biogenesis. You can generate new mitochondria throughout your life. So you can call it mitochondrial biogenesis. You can call it mitogenesis. And all you need to do basically in addition, of course, to being healthy, you're not going to create new mitochondria if you're not healthy, is to consume in a regular way a dozen nutrients. That's what it's going to take, a dozen nutrients. And I'm going to list those for you. And, and hopefully you're, you're getting most of those into your system. In fact, we are creating, along with other research groups, a protocol that we're going to want people to do, it's not ready yet, a protocol that we're going to want people to do for one month a year. Basically, that's it. We're going to want you to do one month a year of mitochondrial renewal. <laughs> one month a year. You're going to take out one month, 30 days, and for that 30 days, you are going to do mitochondrial renewal, or you can call it mitochondrial resuscitation, or mitochondrial biogenesis, or mitogenesis, call it what you will, but we're going to want you to dedicate one month a year to literally creating new mitochondria and then maintaining that by consuming certain nutrients every day. It's very, very simple, and it is dramatic. Now, I want to list for you, and hopefully you can write this down, the new list of nutrients out of the Medical Research Institute in San Francisco and the Institute of Rehabilitative Nutrition and a number of other research groups that are totally supportive in this process of mitogenesis. Here they are. Now, there's not going to be one nutrient here, by the way, that I'm going to list that you've never heard of. You've heard of every one of these. Here we go. Number one on the list, of course, coenzyme Q10, without a doubt, at about 300 milligrams a day. Let's just go down the list. Number one, coenzyme Q10. Number two, alpha lipoic acid. Number three, glutathione. Number four, arginine, this very specific kind of arginine called arginine alpha ketoglutarase. We'll explain that later. Number five, quercetin. Number six, resveratrol. But the kind of resveratrol the chemistry points out is resveratrol that has been methylated. And the term for that is something called pterostilbene. You've probably heard of that before. We'll come back and talk about that later. So resveratrol. Two members of the vitamin B complex, vitamin B2 and vitamin B3. The next nutrient, vitamin D3. Carnitine is next, ribose is next, and magnesium is next. And of course, when you speak about magnesium, you want to make sure that it's in proper balance with potassium. So we can say that the 12 nutrients that are essential for mitogenesis, for, for mitochondrial biogenesis, for mitochondrial resuscitation, for mitochondrial renewal, no matter what you call it, are these 12 nutrients.